Hello and welcome. This is Israel Lopez, and uh, today I wanted to talk about a uh, new thing that I just learned um, is how to create refreshable Excel reports for Fishbowl inventory. Um, in my past videos, I've actually created a kind of a crash course on iReport and showed people how, you know, presumably if you could install it and understand it and open the files and make changes, how you can learn how to eventually get to the point where you can create your own reports. But uh, since that video, I've had a lot of commentary about uh, we love, you know, thank you for doing that, but we'd love to be able to just get results into Excel. How do we get results into Excel? Um, well, let me show you how to do that. Um, and I'm going to switch to my live example here. And what I've done is connected Excel to the Fishbowl Inventory database, where the two systems are now connected direct, uh, connected to each other directly. And what I had done was uh, created the query uh, that shows you the inactive uh, inventory records, but that we still have a quantity for. So this F101, for example, still has 82 units on hand. If we drop it off at inactive, we, we're not going to see it on our stock fishbowl inventory reports, but we can see it in a query, which is very useful to us. So now here's the here's the magic. We click on refresh, and now that data is there. So it looks really like magic, but uh, let me show you how that's done. Um, so what we've done and what you're going to need is at least Excel 2010. I don't know if Excel 2007 or 2003, if you still have that. Uh, will work for this, but at least 2010 and above will work great. You need the Firebird ODBC drivers, and you really just need any version of Fishbowl Inventory, although in this example I'm using Fishbowl Inventory 2015.3, and you finally need a SQL query. Um, and that's the part that um, when I was going through this process with a client and I said, hey, so now we're going to need a query, what would you like? They said, I don't know SQL, I'm not going to learn, and what do I do now? Am I just stuck? I'm like, no, 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 no. I, that's why I'm here. You tell me what you're looking for, and I'll give you the columns and the data that, you're, that, you, that you expect. So uh, let's do that. Uh, what, we did, what I did recently for this query was I had, um, someone had asked, is there a way to find out what parts we have are, that are inactive that we still have on hand? So I decided that, well, you know, he's using 2015.3. Maybe he can use the uh, new data module that's in Fishbowl. And I sent him this little query. So if we go over to the data module and run it, that's what he got. You know, that's exactly what he's looking for. But if you were looking for a more formal, finalized process, because currently in order to do some kind of analysis on that to connect to it and do some more pivot tables or filtering or charts or graph you'd have to go ahead and export to Excel and open it in Excel uh, do your changes to Excel and then next time you want to update the, the query you'd have to do it again not ideal and I think that this process would actually be a lot better um, if we can get past some of the pain points but they're actually Pretty manageable. Uh, another I, I taught a client on how to do this, and they're off to the races. They were very happy, and they learned it learned it pretty quickly. So let me show you how that's done. So what we're going to do is create a new file, and we're going to go to the data module, and then we're going to go to from other sources, and we're going to say from Microsoft Query. And in this list, it's telling us the databases that we have available. And I've already set up the Fishbowl database. Um, I don't have a lot of time. It, it takes a little while, but not too long, on how to set up ODBC drivers. But uh, there's another video and there's some online documentation that Fishbowl provides on how to do that. So for now, let's assume it's here, it's ready to go, uh, and we can start using it. Click OK. And now this is the Query Wizard. We don't want this. It's not good enough for us. Uh, if your needs were simple enough where you just needed the part data, you might be able to use this, but I've never really been able to teach many people on how to use it correctly. Um, you're more than welcome to try. No, no, harm, no harm, no fail to try. But for now, just click Cancel. And then click on Yes, that we want to create this query in Microsoft Query. Again, it's asking us, do you really want to create tables? No, uh, we know what we're doing. Um, let, leave us alone, basically. And what we're going to do now is click on View SQL. And we're going to paste in a SQL statement where I got off that website. 
yes we know that it can't be gra represented graphically and there we go now there's a few bugs in this uh, where it changes the names of the columns and we'll have to fix that, fix that another way so for now go ahead and return data to Microsoft Excel file return data to Microsoft Excel and we'll deal with that next now Excel is asking us where do you want to put this put it in the existing worksheet and there we go to fix the column names we're going to go ahead and click on properties and I click on the connection properties button that's next to the name on the right hand side and we're going to go ahead and go under the definition tab and select the command text that's already been set up we're going to paste our query again click OK click OK one more time and let it refresh and now we've got the correct column names that we had kind of designed in the query and now it's ready to go so if we go ahead and uncheck that part at active again it's ready to go it's fine and you can save this report uh, excuse me you can save this Excel file and it'll work exactly how we designed uh, the only caveat is that that database name for fishbowl does need to be defined and ready to go before it'll refresh otherwise the data will just be stale and you won't be able to use it but that's fine for outside uses and things like that but hey I think this is a great solution to a lot of people uh, prop a lot of people's problems with the reporting in fishbowl um, it does need uh, some understanding of SQL and if you have a question or you're looking for something specific uh, go ahead and co post that question over to our fbusergroup.com page you can tell us what you're looking for and maybe the query won't take too long for us or me or somebody else to uh, one of the community members to create that for you but at least it's a it's a solution and it's frankly a little bit better than what we're kind of doing doing instead of uh, fishbowl every day and that's what I wanted to show so thank you for watching if you have any questions please leave a comment like subscribe thank you and have a good day